All right. We're at back for more Donkey Kong Country 2 hard mode, folks. So, last stream was quite the thing. We uh, got stuck on Mudhole Marsh for an embarrassingly long time. That won't happen this time, because we've already beaten Mudhole Marsh. Anyhow, let's activate the cheat code to make it super hard. In fact, it, it'll make it rock hard. There we go. No more buddy barrels, no more checkpoints. Alright, we finished Mudhole Marsh last time. We're at the end of Crazy Kremland. But first, we gotta go to Clubber's, Clubber's Kiosk. Go to the Lost World level. Splice me, main brace! It's the monkeys! I hope yours got enough booty this time, or you'll walk the plank. I'll pay 15 creme coins. Feel free to use me barrel when you like, mateys. I will, Clubba. Thank you. Alright. We're gonna march our way off to Clobber Carnage. This is where the Lost World starts getting real tough. The enemies in this world, in this level, really aren't that bad. They're just a bunch of clobbers. But the actual platforming on this level can be pretty tough. <laughs> and they just leapt for Youch! That's my favorite thing to leap for. Leaping for Youch. Do -do 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 -do. Hey, Proxima! Welcome, welcome! Yep, it's Donkey Kong Country. The second one. Which, in my opinion, is the best one. But we've removed all DK Buddy Barrels and we've removed all checkpoints. Just to make it really hard. Gotta watch out for the Black Clobbers. They will literally steal your lives. Not much fun. Even the final boss can't steal more than one life at a time. Yoink! Oh no, not the automatically rotating barrel cannons. Those are the worst. <laughs> Alright, we've reached the halfway point. Uh-oh. No! And now the kabooms. They're like clobbers, but more deadly. This is where the level starts getting hard. With the long-moving gyroscopic launch barrels. Alright. And... Kaboom! Oh no, darn it. That's a really tight <laughs> rotation you have to do. Got to do it really fast, but if you do it too fast, then that can happen. You can overshoot it. That's okay. We made it real far into this level for our first attempt. Give me my letters. This level would be a lot harder if all of the gyroscopic timers were at set to one second. I shouldn't give the developers any ideas. Oh no. The automatically rotating barrel cannons. Man, I don't know why they're so difficult for me, but they are. Um, okay. <laughs> I just had to hope I was aiming in the right direction. Nice job, camera. Really appreciate it. Yoink! Also, apparently, if you play the SNES version on certain emulators, this barrel right here just automatically rotates all the time. It's still possible, but it becomes significantly harder. I love this game so much. Even the really tough levels in this are still, like, very fun, and very well done.
All right, made it through. Got an extra life for our troubles. There we go. Ba bonus barrel time. Please tell me I don't need both partners. I hope not. Destroy them all. Oh, that's what I do best. Oh, yes! No, we gotta destroy them all, Diddy Kong! All of them! Uh oh. Man, the DK coin and the Feber are both at the very end. Nice job, Diddy. Alright, wow, Clobber Carnage was way easier for me than Mudhole Marsh was. Try figuring that out, because Clobber Carnage is supposed to be one of the toughest levels in the game. Oh well, I'm happy with that. One thing I think we'll do, I'm going to try out the Expresso Racing, because we have quite a few feathers now. You think your fancy graphics and sound will work again? I think not. You'll be lucky to sell ten copies this time. Enough talk, let's see your coins. Let's go Expresso Racing. Well done, we now have enough feathers. I think it's time we name the bird. Let's call him Expresso. Each time you find another feather, return to me and use it to power up Expresso. This is done by selecting the Expresso Racing option from my menu. Then for selecting Power Up, try doing it now. Let's power up. Power Ups increase Expresso's abilities, allowing him to compete in tougher races. When powering up, you'll be able to increase Expresso's speed, strength, boost, and flight stats. Speed increases Expresso's maximum speed. Strength stops the other racers from pushing you around. Boost allows Expresso to pick up the grain from the track. Pressing the R button will give you a small speed boost. Flight allows Expresso to pick up the feathers from the track. Pressing the A button while jumping will allow Expresso to jump much further. Alright, well, we definitely want to max out our speed. Can we max out strength as well? Excellent. Now we'll put the rest basically into boost and I'll put one into flight. There we go. Expresso will be competing against the other birds. Use the D-pad to move Expresso around. Pressing the B button will make Expresso run. Why would you not have that held down all the time in these races? Pressing the A button will make Expresso jump. Try to beat the opponents to the finish line. <laughs> hey, Nintendo Addict, welcome. Yeah, Expresso Racing is one of those fans where, in theory, I like it. It's just, um, in practice, it's not that fun. Anyhow, yes, Expresso Racing, Cranky, we do try to win first. That is what happens. We have Tremors. Oh, he's uh, pretty good. Monsoon. He's pretty strong. Mima is average. And then my Expresso kind of went all for the strength and speed game. So I should be faster than all the other bears. Uh-oh. Move it. I'm the strongest, fastest Expresso around. So I'm gonna win first! Oh boy, Birdseed. It's like I'm playing Piglet's Big Game all over again. Yeah, every time you level up boost, you can pick up another fiend of Birdseed. It's not that great, since you tend to use Birdseed pretty quickly after getting it. I don't see much advantage to stockpiling up on the bird seed or the feathers. Hey, Mobius! Welcome! We're just racing with some birds. Pretty typical Donkey Kong Country stuff. Alright, that was easy. <laughs> And we got a trophy. First place! Well done! Get first on all the races, and I'll give you a nice surprise. But that's another way we can get hero coins. Man, those fiends are everywhere. <laughs> hey, Shaggy! Welcome! Is that the cones equivalent of the Derby? Sure, it's a GBA exclusive minigame, Expresso Racing. Alright, we could do more Expresso Racing, but I have a feeling people want us to get into the levels. Let's do Ramby Rumble, which is a very disappointing level. You'd think with a name like Ramby Rumble, we'd be in Ramby for the whole course. Uh, no. Ramby's exclusive level, you only get to play with him for half the course. 
It's been, I don't even know how many years, and I'm still ticked off about that, because dumb animal partners like Squitter get an entire course to themselves. And, like, On Guard gets free courses to himself. Squawks gets, like, free courses to himself. But no, the best animal buddy, Rambi, who is objectively the best party member, like, this is not to dispute, only gets half a course. Really? Give me that feather. It's not like the feathers are all that useful. I, my Express is basically as good as I need him to be, but... You do you? Those rotating barrel cannons, man! <laughs> also, good luck getting through this without Dixie Kong. I know, you're supposed to jump down. As well, that's just unfair enemy placement. That's what it is. Yeah, the SNES version, at a certain point, this track called Run Rambi Run Plays doesn't play in the GBA version. The music still exists in the GBA version, but you can only access it from the sound test. That's okay. I kind of like the music that they play anyways. My espresso. <laughs> My expresso. Find the Gremgoin! Diddy, it's honey. It's pretty easy to stick to. It's okay. We have plenty of time. We gotta get more money for, uh, <laughs> for Clubba. Oh no. This part's gonna be tough without both cones, actually. We gotta go up there and kill the Cutlass. Alright. That's a tough jump to make. Oh no, I only spelled O. Now I'm just going to spell on. That's not good. Invisible hooks, so that way we can grab DK coin. And the rest of the level should be a breeze. Now we get to play as Best Buddy. Rambi! Welcome, Jammin! How's it going? We're playing some Donkey Kong Country 2. Alright, now Rambi just gets to bulldoze everything in his path, which is exactly what I want from a Rambi-themed level. <laughs> yeah, right here. This is supposed to play a very different song, but for some reason the GBA version plays this, Bad Bird Rag, instead of Rum Ramby Run. Then bonus level at the end. Destroy them all! With pleasure! With Rambi, it's trivial. That's probably the easiest bonus barrel in the game. <laughs> and also the most fun. Yeah. <laughs> oh, but I wanna. Yeah, we only got to play as Rambi for a few seconds. Like, come on, man! It's Rampy Rumble! That's true. Run Rambi Run is a little too over the top for that short section, especially since, like, the first half of that level is actually kind of tricky if you don't know how to do it. The second half is laughably easy. I don't know, man. All right, let's finish up the world. Time for the boss, Kinzine Steen, who is probably one of the tougher bosses of the game. We get to play as everyone's favorite parrot, Squawks, and he is everyone's favorite parrot. I mean, who else are you gonna play as, Quacks? Everyone hates Quacks. Yeah, well, this is a tough one because we have we can only damage him by hitting his stainer, which is very tiny. Oh no, got too close. All right, he's already on his final phase. Sweet. Wow, that was way easier than I expected him to be. 
If you knew how many times I died to that guy as a kid, you wouldn't believe it. Where does K. Rule keep getting these giant zeners from? Come on, let's go to Gloomy Gulch. You don't have time to play on the shooting gallery now. <laughs> Aw, yeah. Let's go to World 5, Gloomy Gulch. This is... Admittedly, I'd say the weak part of the game. I don't like many of the levels in this world. I do like the first one, Ghostly Grove, though. It's very fun. Hey, dude. Everything's spooky in this world. This is another track that I really don't think the GBA version did a good job of porting. One of the few. It's so much better in this NES version. Yeah, this... I always thought this song was a little bit on the lackluster side. No, as it turns out, it's just lackluster in the GBA version! Didn't pull out the ponytail in time. Some of the collectibles on this bubble are kind of stupidly well hidden. And by that I mean you would never find them without a guide. Dixie Calm definitely is going to be our best friend in this world. Yeah, like, how in the world would you find that without looking it up? It's ridiculous. Boink! Find the Krem coin! I'll... Dixie Cone definitely helps in this bonus barrel. Diddy has to actually physically throw the chest. Nope. We can just bonk. I can't remember where the feather is, which is a tad disconcerting to me. I think it's also one of those ones where it's like, oh, you gotta jump up. Aha! Yeah, it's like, <laughs> hope, you, hope, you, hope you're okay with dropping off every cliff in the game in, in the hopes that you can find the collectibles. Man, Dixie Cone makes this world. <laughs> Dixie Cone makes this world very much a lot more manageable. Uh oh. No! Dixie Cone! I can't I can't function without your ponytail. No! <laughs> See, Dixie, as soon as his girlfriend leaves him, Diddy Cone's like, Well, can't function without her! <laughs> ah! <laughs> Diddy, it's good that you love your girlfriend, but you, you can't be codependent. You gotta be able to function on your own as well. <laughs> I do love the sounds that the <laughs> pretty much all of the enemies make in the GBA version. They're very cartoony, and I love it. <laughs> that guy, that guy just is selling porcupines. Apparently, he's like, "You'll never guess what I have in my overcoat." Chucks a literal porcupine at. Actually, isn't that? Wasn't there a case of like somebody getting charged with assault for like throwing a porcupine at another person? That probably happened in Florida. <laughs> Diddy is cleany. One kind of cute thing is, like, a lot of the, like, official concept art of the game shows Diddy and Dixie holding hands throughout the game, which is actually kind of adorable. 
but but seriously, Diddy, <laughs> it's not a case of if you can't hold her hand, you you should die. That's not what you should do. I hope we did, were there free bonus barrels in that level, or just two? I hope there were just two. <laughs> Do, 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 do. I will never get tired of Diddy's boombox victory dance. It's fantastic. Okay, good. We got it all. Oh, hey! Cranky, let's do another round in the Donkey Kong Derby. Just because Donkey Kong Country sold a few lousy copies, I have to be included in another ludicrous adventure. It's the last time, I tell you. Pick a subject. I know everything about this game. <laughs> At least how bad it is. <laughs> <laughs> Papa Lads! Uh-oh. He's pretty strolling and fast, too. Humpty Dumpty is also super fast. Uh-oh. He's gonna be tough. Ripa! Uh-oh. I'm scared. Oh, no. Whoever the green bird is... Oh. Green Bird is doing real well. Oh, never mind. He, he touched a puddle and slowed down to a crawl. Ah, move it. He grabbed my bird seed. That was mine. I'll kill you for that. Stupid Papalaz or whoever you are. Oh, yes. Please keep running in the water. He keeps grabbing everything! Aha! Not today, Zerg! Do 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 do. It's express racing. There was a Donkey Kong racing game, Donkey Kong Barrel Blast. <laughs> Donkey Kong Barrel Blast was, uh, it was supposed to be for the GameCube, where you could use the DK Bongo controller, but instead they put it on the Wii, and, uh, you can tell it was supposed to be for the Bongo controller. It was weird, <laughs> but kind of fun. First place! Well done! Get first on all the races, and you get a nice surprise! <laughs> a picture of me. Alright, it's time for by far the best level of the whole world. Haunted Hall. I freaking love this level. Thank you, Dixie Comb. It's the last minecart level of the game. And a real fun one. Also a real creepy one. <laughs> that guy's cackle. Don't let time run out, or else, um... Well, but let's just say it's the ultimate time limit. Bonus barrels! <laughs> Find the creme coin! This is a cool bonus barrel. <laughs> Just like a Disney attraction, you go backwards. <laughs> he wants to give me your eternal reward. Okay, this one's gonna be a little bit tougher. Thankfully, we don't have to grab every star. I'm not even sure if that's possible. Mm -hmm. Woohoo! Alright, let's get out of this creepy library now. <laughs> I love that sound cackle makes. <laughs> I almost didn't make that jump. <laughs> also, how about that music, man? Hi, Cackle. I'm just here on a friendly minecart ride. I don't want any trouble. Tell me, tell you what, if you let me go, I'll tell you the secret of Monkey Island. Guess he didn't want to know the secret of Monkey Island. I hate reaching that bonus room. That is way harder to do than it looks. 
Find the Krem coin. Oh boy. This is a tough bonus barrel. Hope you know exactly when and where to jump, because you don't get very much time to react. <laughs> Woohoo! <laughs> Gotta go fast! Uh? <laughs> My thoughts exactly. Yay! We even spelled calm! We're very, very good at spelling here in Donkey Kong Country. For a loaf of bread? All right, now Dixie, we need to switch over to Diddy Cone so that way we can get the boombox. <laughs> Almost just chucked her off a cliff, like a good boy boyfriend would do. Dane. Imagine Diddy Kong's like, oh no, Donkey Kong's been kidnapped, gotta save him, gotta bring my girlfriend, wait, can't leave to save my, well, like, best friend Donkey Kong without my boombox. <laughs> it has my favorite songs on it. Oh boy. One of my least favorite levels in the game, Gusty Glade. Nope. For anybody out there who wants to develop a 2D platformer game, don't put in wind. Do not put in wind. It's a trick. I can't think of a single level that has been improved and made more fun by the introduction of wind. Gotta spell calm! No! Whoops. Wind mechanics were pretty well done in Celeste. I have not played Celeste. I want to, though. I have it. I just haven't ever opened the game. Or at least make... At least make the wind consistent. Like, on this level, the wind just constantly changes, and it's really annoying to deal with. Not as... It's not as bad as Donkey Kong Country Freeze Rip Curl Reef. But also, few things are. Because at least on this, there are certain parts of the level where it'll just, like, it'll be consistent with the wind change. Where it'll be, like, every few seconds it'll change direction. Rip Curl Reef, no, it's entirely dependent on your position, and they do evil things with that. Where it's like, oh, you have to swim really, really hard against the wind, and oh, oh the wind changed, and now you're immediately getting dumped off into the wall, where there are enemies. That is a very polite way of putting it, Nintendo Addict. I love it. Also, I've been... I've actually been told that Gusty Glade is a little easier if you don't take Rattly. <laughs> Never actually tried that myself. I'm just like, Animal Buddy, obviously gonna make it easier. Guess what? Animal Buddy did not make it easier. Uh, oh, oh no! How far am I in Free 5 8 over two days? Uh, I finished. I finished the main story, anyways. Aha. Uh -huh. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay. Okay, don't despawn. Don't despawn. Don't despawn. Yay, thank you. Yoink! Oh, no. <laughs> Collect the stars. Oh, I will do my best. Thank goodness all these leaves are just kind of floating there to let you know that there will be wind, but there isn't wind yet. Oh no, I hate I hate this part of the level. I hate it so much. Uh, yeah, because that's why. Because wind changes. Just like when Mary Poppins arrives. And now the wind is not changing. At least make it consistent, people. Yeah, and here... Eh, oh, no, it changes direction, and then you gotta wait, and then... Oh, it changes direction again. Uh, 
Hope you have Dixie Cone for that part, otherwise you ain't getting that. Hero Coin! Oh wait, no. Oh no. I think this is a level where you need both cones at the end to get the feather. I'm pretty sure the feather is up there, and I'm pretty sure you need both cones. Yeah, make the trigger points more obvious. I didn't get... Yep. Well, darn. Alright, let's try that first part without Rattly. Never done it before, but let's try it. No, I, I remember Nintendo Attic. The feather is up there. And regardless, one way or another, I missed the feather. Yeah, I'd say Gusty Glade has, like, my least favorite 2D platforming wind gimmick. Like, the wind reappears on one other Donkey Kong Country 2 level, but I actually like it better on that one. The infamously difficult Lost World level. Because at least that wind is extremely consistent. It's really, really annoying to deal with, but at least it's consistently annoying to deal with. Yeah, I, kn I knew it. <sighs> Once again, Dixie Cone is the hero that we need and don't deserve. No! Are you kidding me?! I'm so angry! We touched that guy's butt and died for it. That's... Not good. Well, at least I lost the cone early that time. <laughs> I do love the sound that Diddy makes when he's right next to the edge. <laughs> Darn it! Stupid porcupines. And that's not... <laughs> and that's not even the worst of the forest levels. That's still yet to come. Actually, this might be the worst of the forest levels. The other one is also supremely annoying. It's just a different kind of annoying. I really just need to stop trying to get the K, but I can't help it. Years of Sesame Street have taught me that if giant letters appear, you gotta spell something with them. I hate the wind! One, two, three, ah, ah, ah. I love the Count. He's one of my favorite Sesame Street characters. Obviously, my favorite is Cookie Monster, but... It's gonna be hard to top Cookie Monster in terms of awesomeness. No! Are you ki I hate the wind on this level. I, I just need to fly over him.
I bet you could get a bunch of level ups, or one ups in that area by jumping on their heads repeatedly. Almost, almost jumped into that guy's mouth. That would have been annoying. This is turning into the new mud hole marsh. There we go. Grabbed the Dane Fever. One thing I want to just check real quick. Leave college. <laughs> oh, thanks, Proxima. I want to reach 99 lives, too. And guess what? We're about to help pad that out, because we're on bonus bonanza. <laughs> what do you have? What do you do for a living? Video game heroes, you say? Well, that's great. Hit the button and let's play. Let's play, indeed. Oh, I didn't see the name of this. What is the name of this area of the island? It's Gloomy Gulch, although I wish it was Fearsome Forest. You clever little monkey, now listen carefully. How many little wasps did the end of area giant wasp break up into? He broke up into five. That's correct! Here's the next one. What is the name of the trendy surfing gull who operates his crazy flights? Funky! Didn't they do well? Free out of free, you're pretty good at this. Haunted Hall. Get it? Oh, that's a good one. What is the name of the forest level with the blowing wind in it? Gusty Glade. You clever little monkey! On the Crocodile Isle map, how many small wasps hover around the wasp hives? Three. You clever little monkey! Now let's see carefully. What is the name of the Kremlin Island that you are on? Crocodile Dump. It's Crocodile Isle. Until next time, here on Swanky's Bonus Bonanza! Oh, correct, folks! Didn't they do well? Gibbon game. I'm game. Which of these is not the name of an area of the island you have played? We have not played in Crocodile Canyon. That's correct! Here's the next one. What is your swordfish buddy's name? On guard. Okay, try this one. How many world map globes are there on the shelves in the Cone College? That is exactly what I wanted to check. There were two. If you fancy a game, you know my name. Nice going, guys! Here's your prize. Everyone is a winner here! Alright, we just need 11 more lives when we reach 99. And we're on a fairly easy level, at least for this world. Parrot Shoot Panic. Definitely a weird name for a level, but alright. So here we meet Quox the Parrot. He's like Squox, but worse, because he can't attack and can't fly up. He can only fly down. Also, this is like the only level in the game that actually lags pretty heavily. <laughs> Wait, don't tell me Diddy got left behind. Okay, good. I'm like, so help me if Diddy Cone's just like, Go on without me, Dixie! You threw me in the wall! Now I have a black eye! I can't do anything! That would have been really dumb. I, I know it is- I know it's a pun on Parachute Panic. It's still a weird name, though. Alright. One of these parrots, we gotta be on our game. Yeah, right here. Gotta fly really far to the left. If you don't know that's there, then you... Pff, well, tough, tough... Sucks to be you. Find the creme coin. Oh, squawks. Thank goodness you're here. Your, your younger brother, Quox, is terrible. Alright. There are people who can do this whole level without ever using Quox, where they just do a free fall down to the bottom. It's crazy. Crazy awesome to watch. Rah! Quox got a direct upgrade in the third game, and he's... Still sucks hardcore in that. Oh no. Okay. The next part is really annoying. Ha <laughs> ha! 
gotta get the camera. I don't care if I had to lose Diddy Cone for it. <laughs> Poor Diddy. He's such the punching bag on this level. Destroy them all! Including Diddy Cone. Oh, hey, we didn't even need the TNT barrel. We had Squawk shoot him <laughs> through the sign. And then, mm, very nice. Oh, no, we missed the O. K-N. Well, at least we can defeat Superman now with our kryptonite. <laughs> oh, no, we can't do the get the coins that are up there. Because we don't have our best buddy, Diddy. Oh wait, no, we can get him without our best buddy, Diddy, because we got Dixie Cone, who's like, invincible. <gasps> no! I need the feather! <laughs> In the, in the SNES version, anytime you die in the in the beehive, there's a really long death jingle. I'm pretty sure they put it in just for this level, where you can be falling for a very long time. All right, Quacks. And this time we'll take a different route. Oh, hey, there are actually two Ks on this level. One in the secret route, and one just on the normal route. That's actually kind of cool. I can't believe I was that stupid. Actually, yes, I can. Alright, Diddy. It's all on you, buddy. <laughs> Diddy literally can't function without his girlfriend. This is not a healthy relationship. <laughs> Diddy, what happened to you? In Donkey Kong Country 1, you were perfectly happy without a girlfriend. Darn it. I'm not good at controlling the parrot. I blame Quacks. Doggone it, Diddy Kong! I guess Dixie's gonna have to carry us through the game. So is there a way to just immediately drop off Quacks? There definitely is in the SNES version. Oh yeah, you press select. Man, for some reason, it can be hard moving left and right with Quacks. It's very difficult to move the stick left and right. I love how I'm like, oh, this is like the easy level in the world, and I, it's giving me the most trouble. Excluding having to redo Gusty Glade. I actually did super well Gusty Glade on my first playthrough. Gosh, look at the game. It, I don't know why this level of all levels lags so much. It doesn't make much sense to me. Even the music is skipping. Oh, we missed the O again. Oh, no! Wait, what? 
Why did we not grab onto the purple parrot quacks? What the heck? They're, they're just like later loser. Just we can we can do we're good enough to do the level without quacks. I am not a speedrunner. I'm not that good enough. <laughs> And yet, somehow, we've made lives on this level. Must be all the bananas we're getting. <laughs> At least we spelled O. We don't have the K. We are not okay, but we are just O. There are days where I just feel like O. Oh, come on! <laughs> Diddy Kong. Can we, can we avoid embarrassing ourselves this time? Can we please grab out? Thank you. Come on, Artie. Artie, just take it a little bit slower. Just take it a little bit... Why is that Dane Parrot so hard to move? Because you can move, like... You can move left and right. You can also, if you hold down, he'll fly down faster, and if you hold up, he'll fly up. If he'll fly down a little slower. Flying either up or down and left and right is pretty much impossible. At least with the controller I have. Makes it a little <laughs> annoying at times. Blah. We were at the end of the level last... Oh, like, when we reached the Fever as well. Wow, why is it lagging so much? There are only four bees. No! I did it again. Okay. I can't believe we made it through that unscathed. Wow. The game lag is insane. Okay. Fever's coming up. Alright, I think this is the final hurdle. My goodness! I have n I have played the GBA version a lot. I've never seen the GBA version lag this much, even on this course. We spelled Kun Fu. Okay, well, we spelled Kun. Oh, wait, nope. We have Diddy finish. Why is that level so laggy? I don't understand. I'll never know. Anyhow, we got everything, but we can't we can't go to Columbus Kiosk yet. Don't have enough creme coins, but we should fix that with uh Oh wait, Funky's Flights 2. Oh, this is probably the best Funky's Flights 2 mission. Way cool! Pick a flight and you're out of sight! Hey man, I'm glad you're back! I need your help! Cool sounds! I've dropped my ghetto blaster in the icy water below! Go get it for me! Shoot the buttons hanging on the wall to lower the water! You only have three minutes of juice, so you better get going, dude! 
Yeah, Funky dropped his boombox in the water, and then it froze over. Not cool, dude! And yeah, we gotta shoot the wall. But it's a very precise pattern that you don't know, so you have to just guess. Actually, no, this, this mission sucks. What am I talking... Why did I think this is the best one? The, the, it has the best concept. It's entirely in character for Funky Cone to leave his boombox in the, in the freezing cold water. I don't know what's up with these cones and their insistence on needing to take their boomboxes everywhere, but it's apparently not exclusive to Funky. Or Diddy. Jeez, Funky, how did you get your boombox this low down in an iceberg? Hey, what were you doing in an iceberg? <laughs> that's, that's the first issue. Okay! Apparently that guy's cloak is made of titanium. That's not good. What the heck? That, why did I spontaneously combust my helicopter just by touching that guy? Did he dip his cloak in nitroglycerin or something? But kryptonite's only supposed to be deadly for Superman. It's like guns with Batman. Alright. It's gonna be real tight on time. It's gonna be real tight on time, but we can still do it. Also, I didn't even try to ram into Cloak. I f shot. I shot. I fired a shot. It's just this thing can't hit straight. There we go. Alright, we have literally, like, 50 seconds to get the boombox back to Funky and to park this thing. Funky, why do you need... <laughs> he left the boombox underwater and it's playing his get si Oh, come on, freaking boombox! Are you serious? His favorite song on his get psych playlist is about to play, and he can't miss it. It's a boombox, so you can't, like, just rewind. Actually, no, you can. You can rewind boomboxes. Also, you know what's really stupid? We can give the boombox back to Funky, but if we don't land the plane in the time limit, we still fail the mission. Oh my gosh. We barely made it! <laughs> there you go, Funky. There's your stupid boombox. Well done! I could not listen to the DK rap all night long! Oh, well, that is a pretty fantastic song. Here's your reward! We gotta be better than Mario. We gotta be better than Mario. We aren't going to be better than Mario. Alright. Time for one of the worst levels in the game, Web Woods. Oh, man, this level is really long. Oh, nothing? I thought there was a two-up balloon up there. Green cutlass are very annoying. They're basically impossible to beat if you don't have a barrel of some kind. Okay, we'll let the Hulk calm down before going up there. Oh, that, that really wasn't worth it. There's the two-up balloon. Alright. Here's where the real gimmick of the level comes in. It's Web Woods. It's a whole level of Squitter. We didn't get a whole level of Rambi. We got a whole level of Squitter. You know, the really annoying animal buddy. Honestly, Squitter is very unique, but that don't mean he's good or fun to play as. Especially because this level is very long and takes a long time to get through because, again, Squitter has to make all of these platforms for himself. 
Also, the DK coin is in an exceptionally annoying place on this level. It's so annoying that if you miss it, well, you gotta play the whole level again. Even if you're not playing on hard mode. I also don't remember where the Fever is, so, uh, yeah. Fun times. Oh yeah, we got the crook. That was probably a mistake. I probably should not have played that risky. <laughs> All right. This part. Yeah. So we gotta wait for him to shoot a really slow cannonball. <laughs> that was a little too close for comfort. Very well hidden bonus room right there. <laughs> Also, for some reason, this level even has Bramble-themed bonus rooms, even though... Why? We have the Woods tile set. But there we go. Our Creme Coin. And I think there's one of her on this level. Somewhere. And again, I don't remember where the Fever is, so that's gonna be fun. This is, I believe, another case of a bonus room. That is, we need to uh, get a cloak, or not a cloak, a cannon to shoot it. Yep, there we go. That one's a good deal easier to get, though, because we can just follow it. On the ground. Uh oh. All right, we can do the Lost World level in this world. Um, yeah, uh, the fact that I don't remember where the Golden Fever is is actually kind of worrying me. Thanks for dropping me off right in front of the Cannonball Man. That was very cool of you. Oh, fun! Also, um, you see that DK coin? Okay, we got the DK coin, at least. That's a lot harder to get in the SNES version, where it flashes on screen for, like, a frame. <laughs> No feather, though. Hmm. Gonna have to take another look at that level. Either that or I got it and forgot. No, I didn't get it. Might be in the first area somewhere. I didn't explore all of the first area. Oh, great. I, I died to a rat. Bad, Remy. Alright, well, it's either really high up somewhere, or really low down somewhere. Probably really low down somewhere. It's probably, like, right near the death point.
I think this thing down here is... Yeah, I think that's just a banana coin. Am I angry now? No, I'm not angry. Not at all. I'm just concentrating. <laughs> Trying to... F I'm... <laughs> I'm quiet if I'm angry. Or frustrated. I'm also quiet if I'm methodical or thinking deeply about something. I'm trying to think of where the, f the feather might be. Better not be in one of these bottomless pits. Who has time to look for that? Hmm. Nothing. I expected the hero coin to be the one that gives me trouble. How did the Neki not hit me? Don't know, don't care. Oh, actually, the gold feather might be up here somewhere. Like, really high up here. Do 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 do. Oh, come on! What are the odds that the one place I would land would be on that dumb old cannon's head? That was an incredibly low chance of that. Uh, that's irritating. My gold if ever be. This is rather irritating. Thank you, Squitter, for being able to air jump. I actually didn't die there because I'm pretty sure I shouldn't have been able to jump. Darn it! Wait, I thought I had both my combs. This is getting frustrating. Where, how, where could one little feather be hiding?
Are you serious? Why are these rats giving me such a hard time? I keep dying in the first room. And by dying, I mean losing a column. And that's the real problem. If you die in Web Woods, you have to do... You lose so much time, because this level is so long. And it's mainly long just because Squitter takes a while to mo get moving. If ever might be in this area. Aha! There it is. Man, I got so close to it so many times. Alright. We go to Columbus Kiosk, go to the Lost World, and then we can at least fight the boss of this world. Ahoy, Clubber! Scurvy chimps, ahoy! Come on, you yellow bellies! Try and cross Clubber's bridge without paying. Feel free to use me barrel when you like, mateys. All right. Lost world time, folks. We're on fiery furnace, home of the toughest bonus barrel in the game. Also, a unique gimmick. Movable barrel cannons. Well, that level- this level just became a lot harder. Well, that level just became even harder. <laughs> no, I'm so close to 99 lives, though. Come on, are you... <laughs> there we go. Revenge! <laughs> That's a much easier feather to grab. So the first half of this level has tons of clamp-ons and spinies. Second half of the level has a lot of those cat enemies. The cat o nine tails. I thought it would launch me far enough. <laughs> it didn't. I want my K. That was way too risky, but I did it anyways, because I made such a stink about wanting the K. And the K is only as good as the, the sum of its letters. D 
It's kind of interesting how, like, you only get volcano levels in the second world, and then there's, like, a random volcano level in the last world. I actually like that. Oh boy, here come the cats. Thank you for the photo. Yeah, I ain't trusting you to toss me up there. Alright, toughest bonus barrel in the whole game right now. And if you fail at it, you have to repeat the entire level. This is a bonus barrel that you need to know, like, exactly how close you can get to these brambles. Because, wow, you, there is, like, no room for error. And now we have to play the entire level again. Because for some reason, the it dumps you out in this barrel right here, and you can't exit out of it. Hey, we reached 99 lives! Awesome. I knew I was going to fail that bonus barrel at least once. That's one of the few things that they actually made a lot harder in the Game Boy Advance version. The SNES version, the bees do not go that fast. So there's a bit more leeway. Not the bees! What is that even from? Like, I'm aware of what you're talking about. There's that, like, gif of the guy who's like, Not the bees! And they're, like, inside his bee keeper suit. Never... Don't know what it's actually from, though. It's not from Star Wars, I can tell you that. It's some... <laughs> you don't know either, it's just a Nicolas Cage movie. So it's probably insane. I mean, no, no, no! Oh my gosh! If he had, if he had actually damaged me, that would have been the worst. Find the creme coin. Yeah, you can get real close to the brambles. If you don't know that, well, this bonus barrel is literally impossible. Because you can't just go up the middle. Thank you. Give me my two extra lives that I don't need. went a lot easier than Webwoods. I like that. <laughs> you know what I think I'm gonna do? We're gonna call... Oh no, can we not call up the gyrocopter? Oh no, we can. I just went to the wrong area. We're gonna call up the gyrocopter, do some of the old expresso racing that we didn't get around to doing. <laughs> and then we'll take on the boss of the next world. And then we might only need one more Donkey Kong Country stream. We might be able to finish the rest in another stream. See, you're back again! Everybody likes old Cranky! I bet my ugly old wife doesn't get half as many visits! You guys you guys have such a special marriage, don't you? Enough talk! Let's see your coins! Well, actually, I just want to power up Expresso, give it more boost power! Yeah, you- if you're married- I- I- 
I don't have great relationship. I have never been in a relationship before. So maybe I'm not the best person to be giving advice, but I'm pretty sure you're not supposed to badmouth your wife, especially in front of other people. Like, wow. <laughs> not to mention, his wife dies canonically shortly after this game. It, that makes it even worse. Also, we're going to beat the pants off of these guys, because these are World 1 ostriches, and we've got, like, a World 6 ostrich. Do 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 And easy win. Only in Donkey Kong Country is ostrich racing like a thing. <laughs> First place! Well done! Get first on all the courses! I'll try, Cranky. I really will. Save successful. Alright, gyrocopter time! Crocodile Cauldron. I love how Cranky just built a cabin out in a volcano. Try all, try all you like! This game will never be as good as Donkey Kong Country, which was rubbish anyway! <laughs> oh yeah, tell that to all the fans, Cranky. Like, everyone, pretty much everyone agrees this is better than the first game. Feast your eyes on the menu! I don't really know why, though. Like, I love the first game, I just think this is an improvement. But I couldn't really tell you why. Sneakers! <laughs> beardy! <laughs> That's Beardy. Zippy. And Espresso. I'm low-key rooting for Beardy to win, but he won't. Whoa, what happened to Beardy? Beardy just jumped backwards. <laughs> also, you gotta love how the Crocodile Cauldron course has water on it. The flying power-ups are really situational. It's like, I guess you can use it to fly across the water there, but it doesn't really make you go faster. Oh, I thought I picked up the bird seed, though. Do 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 It's Express Racing. Woohoo, we went first. Eat it, beardy. First place! Well done! Get first on all the races, I'll give you a nice surprise! Oh shoot, I forgot to upload a video today. I was totally supposed to upload a video today, and I didn't. Well, maybe we'll get one tomorrow then, instead. Alright, thanks, Cranky. Alright, one more espresso race, and then we'll do the boss of Gloomy Gulch. Kremke. Test my amazing knowledge. You don't have amazing knowledge of this game, Cranky. Actually, he kind of does. We have Loopy, Tinky Winky, Bungle, who's going to bungle this up, and then Espresso, who drank his coffee. Yes, yeah, sorry, Tinky Winky. You ain't, you ain't winning. See, this course is actually themed. You've got swamp water. What a novel idea for a swamp.
Okay, that's actually a spot where the feathers can help, genuinely. Easy, easy. Actually, I think that was easier than the second course. Alright, look at all those trophies on Cranky's wall for us winning. First place, well done. I guess it is his bird. He bought it with his own money. But still, we're the ones who are racing for him. We should at least get half. It's only fair. It's only fair. Alright, now we'll actually finish off World 5. And I think we'll actually have time for to do a level in World 6. At least the first one. Unless, unless the boss gives me a lot of trouble. Alright, time for the boss. Creepy Crow. Yeah, we already beat Crow, but his ghost is out for revenge. Uh-oh. That's not good. Well, we're probably gonna die now. Because he is a fairly difficult boss. Because now he's gonna chuck eggs at us. Can't believe we got through that unscathed, to be honest. Okay, don't touch the ghost. He apparently can still hit ya. Even though, well, he's a ghost. Where's Luigi when you need him? Dixie, you weren't even looking at the crow! She's like, I can't see it, but I know it's scary! <laughs> um, that didn't happen. Dixie, you're not facing the bird! Okay, nice nice aim, Diddy. A plus. Wow. Absolutely roofless. You, sir, are without roof. Dixie's just nonchalantly chewing bubblegum while this is all happening. If you want something done right, you gotta do it yourself, Dixie. Your boyfriend is useless. Oh, what? Crow's ghost is putting up a better fight than pretty much all the other bosses in the game combined. I do remember him being a fairly tough boss. <laughs> Diddy! <laughs> Diddy's like, I know we're facing the ghost of a boss we've already killed, but man, I'm close to the edge. You must go on without your girlfriend, Diddy. I know it's the hardest thing you've ever had to do, but... Actually, wait a second. I've literally never tried this before. Oh my gosh, you can just cartwheel into them. How did I not know this? I thought their pointy beaks made it so you couldn't do that. Oh, well that's... I don't understand the physics of when you can jump off of ropes and when you can't. Like, I think if you're in the middle of the ropes, you just can't jump off it, which doesn't make much sense to me. 
Well, gee, now that I know you can just cartwheel into the birds, that makes the fight a bit easier. Not a lot easier, but at least a bit. Uh-oh, a bunch of people have the beer bug. Well, it's never fun when your co-workers are sick. Alright, alright. This should be the final phase. Bye, Crow. We literally destroyed his afterlife. That's hardcore. Oh no! Not the same boss again, but as a ghost! Ooh, I was so scared. You're doing really well. Only K rules keep to get past. Alright, folks, I think we have time for just one more level this stream. K Rules Keep. It's It should be a fairly straightforward one. Arctic Abyss. Back to the icebergs. Uh, hello, super duper duplex, assuming you're not a bot. Welcome. Welcome to Donkey Kong Country 2 Hard Mode. No checkpoints, no buddy barrels. And just to make it mo even more difficult, we're trying to get 100%. Um, um, I thought that was... Okay! <laughs> oh no, the bots are going by HOS. Okay. Thanks for letting me know. Sorry, I thought you were a bot there, uh, <laughs> Super Duplex. That was very wrong of me. I know there have been a slew of bots going around, though. So it never hurts to be careful. Welcome, welcome. Also, that looks like a interesting candy cone emote. I mean, if there's ever a time to show off the donkey cone emotes, it's now. Uh, wow, I went so fast they got hit by a spike. Yoink! Oh, st <laughs> Super Duper Alex. You know, have you thought about changing your name to Super Duplex? That would also be pretty cool. <laughs> you got followers without having even streamed in a year? Well, you're just that cool, Mobius. That's the only explanation. Also, we literally can't hold any more coins. We are so rich, we're, we can't hold anything more in our wallet. This is... If there's one thing I've learned from playing Donkey Kong Country 2, it's that, like... The really popular songs that people adore are not the ones that I really like. So, like, I know this music is supposed to be one of the best songs in the game. It's fine. It's it's pretty good. It's definitely... I would say it's one of the weaker songs in the game, though. I guess people kind of go for that more atmospheric, chill-sounding soundtracks, whereas... <laughs> as for me, I personally prefer the more bombastic, in-your-face ones. What?! You can't blow up underwater! That's illegal! Okay, uh... There's nothing down there. We're, we're not taking that way again. <laughs> I remember this being, like, a deceptively difficult level. Ongard's supposed to be, like, the ultimate underwater, but he can still take damage. Someone unfollow. <laughs> I mean, if they, don't if they don't want to follow me, that's perfectly fine. But it's an option if you want. Alright, we made it to the halfway point. Or rather, the point where the checkpoint usually is. 
Oh my gosh, I actually made it onto this iceberg. Normally I have to go ahead to a different part of the level, wait for the water level to go up again, and then go back for it. That's how bad I am, but I actually made it. Yeah, normally I have to have that happen and then go back. I don't know who dropped all these bananas in the iceberg, but I'll happily eat them. In-game. Not in real life. I actually hate bananas in real life. With a passion. The feather I'm gonna have to go back for. There we go. Yoink! I forget where the other bonus room is. But we definitely gotta use our pointy nose for something. Oh, how wonderful. Oh, hang on. It might be up here. Aha! Yep. The old invisible wall you can swim for a trick. Find the creme coin! The icy four makes it a little bit difficult. Uh, nice aiming, Dixie. There we go. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, almost got the one up. Nice job, Dixie. Jam out to that guitar. You deserve it. All right! That's making headway into World 6. We only have this world and then, like, a couple levels left after that. So I do believe we will probably finish up the hard mode in just one more stream. So I'll save there, and I'll probably end the stream now. One thing to note, I normally stream Monday and Wednesdays. I will not be streaming this coming Wednesday. So two days from now, not streaming, because I'm volunteering somewhere. So, instead... I was thinking of pushing it back to Thursday, but I actually might be doing something Thursday as well, so I'm going to say Friday. <laughs> Assuming I got nothing going on, I will try to stream on Friday at the usual 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, and we can potentially finish up Donkey Kong Country 2. Actually, we will. We will finish up Donkey Kong Country 2 next stream, unless things go very, very awry. <laughs> Thank you all for tuning in tonight. This is a whole lot of fun. Uh, it's always fun playing this game, and it's always great having an active audience. So yeah, tune in for Friday's stream, and as, as well as Saturday's stream, where we'll be playing Sonic Adventure 2 Battle. That also might be the last time I play that on the stream. We'll, we'll just have to wait and see how things play out. Alright, signing off now. Thank you all for joining in. Hope you had a fantastic Labor Day. Hope you continue to have a great rest of your night and a productive work week. And God bless.